Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my, my league for NBA 2K19 with the Brooklyn Nets. This episode 2, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for the playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click the notification bell. So basically told whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like to see what you see by the end of this, um, click that thumbs up button and leave any comments. I'm going to try at least 3 or 5 likes for this video. Um, it tells me you want to see more videos just like this. And here we are against the Wizards. This is the second game for the Nets. Um, again, we're playing a shortened season, so I think it's around 29 games. So we're going to play with that. And we actually made some changes to the starting lineup. We put Kenneth Reed on um, power forward. I, I don't like Ronnie House Jefferson there, so I'm okay with that. So without further ado, let's get this game started a little more. All right, there comes Jared Allen, who had a big game uh, opening against the Trailblazers. Gets his first bucket of the game. Oh my gosh, another turnover. Washington fast break, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the five. You love seeing the backcourt stay active and, and putting that speed. Good pass. To use Joe pass. for the layup. To the left side wing. Dinwiddie for three. Nails it. Spencer Dinwiddie hits a three. And it's a six point lead by Washington right now. Difficult for us to win. It's something I stress to the guys on the way to the arena. See if they heard him, Kevin. Back to you. Where's the rotation, guys? Where is the rotation? There's no rotation on defense, guys. So slow. The next five as we get into the second quarter. Four on the shot clock. Rivers. Yeah, ball. Go push, Joe. Slow as hell, though. It's tipped. Oh my God! Really? The steal. He's all alone. And here they go. Give me that shit, boy. Look at that block. Blocking the X net. Here's a Talutovic. Back to Crab. There's the three. Crab for three. Oh my God. There you go. Ed Davis. Getting that second chance point. They need to score a little bit better than this, man. Most of his offense success with his development as a long range shooter. Three. Got it. That's a three by D'Angelo and cuts the lead into three. And a new group getting clock. Davis dishes to Craig. Here's Allen. Jared Allen with a slam. A little confusion underneath the basket, but it was wide open for the flush. Reading the situation. Russell gets an opening there. Give me that block. Jared Allen with another block. Let's go. Transition. Here come the Nets. And Davis with a tip. Ali Oop. Terrific assist. He had a, he had one last game. Here comes another. To the middle. Here's Fareed. Oh, and push it as a travel, but I'll take it. The unselfishness of Carroll. You know he's not hunting shots. Took three steps. Typical NBA, not picking it up. Okay, well let's check it. You have to encourage your teammates and don't be afraid to say things. Carroll for three. Green. Let's go. Wide open at the top for the tree. Ooh, good block. Keith Morris picked up the slack for the Wizards. 11 points in the first half. Again, another three by Damari Carroll. Washington now. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, we'll play Beal for three. Knocks it down to end the half. Alright, so at the end of the second quarter, it's 49 to 46 Wizards. So there's still a lot of basketball left, so hopefully the Nets can turn things around. Uh, rebounding has been an issue, I feel like, for me. And just guarding Bradley Beal has been very difficult. Uh, John Wall, I feel like right now, has been limited. Where's Bradley? Oh, he's being interviewed. Um, but he needs to be, Bradley Beal needs to be limited. Uh, to his baskets and just playing making because he's been a problem for me. Um, I think the stats will show up here eventually. 
things were going Washington away from the beginning. Uh, Marquise Morris as well. He's been the tip, they doing a lot of work for me here, or doing a lot of work for them rather. And they, they have a lot of turn. Uh, we had a lot of turnovers. We had ten blocks already, though. That's the thing. Our defense, slightly, our defense with, with uh, jump shooting has been great. Our passing has been very lazy, very lazy. Uh, so we need to limit that, and hopefully our defensive intensity can uh, stay. Yeah, right. I mean, the defense hasn't had an answer for this guy yet. Just too skilled, too driven this far. Grab it in the corner. Oh, look at that. 10th read. Grabbing the board. That's why I made him a starter. And it's put at the small forward. Morris with a screen on Russell. Good pick. Good shot. That's a seven point Washington lead. Suddenly, the lead is now seven for the Wizards. The half just started. There's the three. That's in for his fifth. That's a three by John Wall. That's a 14 2 run by the Wizards. And it's Washington's ball. They're on an 18 7 run. Order outside, and again, Washington with the triple. Time out, time out. And Just like that, that three by Porter <sighs> puts him in a lead of 18. Well, in the summer of and that's just too slow of a team, to be honest. I can't really run with these guys. We I mean, had lots of turnovers today, too, so that's the problem. Bradley Beal, of course, player of the game. And he was just smoking from the beginning. Here's Russell. Tricks there. Okay, so the embarrassment's are over. We lose by 17 to the Wizards. Bradley Beal, Marquise Morris. It was just too much for us. I thought that they'd be able to keep up with them, but not today. Um, Ed Davis and Jared Allen couldn't really play too well, even though Jared Allen was the scoring leader of the game for the Nets, uh, followed by uh, D'Angelo Russell. But he also had eight assists. By Look at the... Look at this. This is tail of the tape. Seven turnovers by D'Angelo, six by Dinwiddie, two by Fareed, two by Ed Davis, one by J Jared Allen. It was turnover city. Kind of, like, you know, that's the best I can really put it. Uh, John Wall, or rather Bradley Beal, was the scoring leader for the for the Wizards. Twenty-seven points. Uh, Markeith Morris, twenty points. John Wall had an eighteen ten game. You know, it's. The little things that the Wizards did that just beat us. Um, they did shoot 40, only 40%, but we only shot 44 and uh, it was not good. Not good at all, man. Uh, a lot of turnovers. 20 turnovers for the Nets. That's something that's not that's something that's not acceptable. Uh, we, although we did have those 12 blocks, but only 10 of them were in the beginning of the game, the first half. So that's something that needs to be addressed. 16 steals for them. And, uh, yeah, not cool, man. That is not cool. Uh, so we're going to be back in the home screen and see what's going on. Okay, so the next game and we are playing is going to be against OKC, against Matt, not Melo, uh, Paul George, which is probably going to be a problem, too. And Russell Westbrook. It's going to be hard to contain those two, so it should be kind of interesting, but they are. Uh, no, man, I don't want... No. I don't want Tony Parker. Matt Old. I do get a second round pick though. Um, stop simulation review. Let's see. Maybe I could, you know. Uh, let's see. Tony has one. You're left. Levert has two. I can definitely open up some extra cap space, and we do get an extra pick in the um, the 2019 draft. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's Tony Parker. He's been he's Tony Parker. I always had that respect for him, but he's not that good anymore. But definitely things improvement over Dinwiddie. But at the same time, we're losing a shooting guard. Um, hmm. Interesting situation here. I think I'm going to deny it. I think I'm going to deny it. 
only because there's still a lot of room for Levert to improve. And uh, Alex Jefferson injured. Oh, oh man. No CP just rotation, whatever. Okay, so here we are. Gonna get ready to play the the Thunder. Next game is gonna be Russell Westbrook, Andre Roberson, Paul George, Jeremy Grant, and Steven Adams. Uh, to be honest, I actually want to play with them again. Um, but, you know, I, f I feel like the Nets would be a cool, pro cool project to improve upon. And uh, let's see, let's see if I could actually find a trade for Ronnie Hollis Jefferson. Just. Wow, nobody wants Ronnie Hollis Jefferson. Let's see. Let's see how for Levert. Oh man, this is really slow. So, okay. Levert. <laughs> I can get Brooke Lopez back. That's an interesting situation. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where else? Jared Dud I'm paying Jared Dudley 9 mil to just sit on his fat ass. Really? Wow. That is very interesting. Marinance Jr. Okay. And John Holland. Eh. How to get Beverly? He's a little I can't trust him completely. Alex Len. Kelly Linick, Ryan McGrudder. The Tony Parker deal, Yogi Farrell, Trey Burke, Jeremy Grant, DJ Berea, Tony Craig, Doug McDermott, Alex Jenka, James Ennis. <sighs> Nobody that really steals my attention right now. Jason Smith, Muscala. Oh, yeah, I'm back here. No, I'm not gonna trade Brook Lopez for Brook Lopez. So injury prone, get out of here. Uh, Shabazz Napier, he hasn't even stepped a foot in the game either. Alright. Let's see if they, I can get anybody for Shabazz because I'm not gonna pay, I'm not gonna keep people who that's not playing, just taking up a lot of cap space, you know? Uh, Tyler Zeller and Del, Del Dova. Bobby, they really want to get rid of Bobby Portis. Larry Nance Jr., that's a straight up trade. Uh, I do like Larry Nance Jr.'s style. Very aggressive, attacks the rim. Okay, I'm going to sit on this trade. And I will let you guys know if I pull the trade off next time. So stay tuned for my Brooklyn Nets, uh, my league. Uh, again, if you're new, subscribe. And if you like what you see, click the thumbs up button. Leave it in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. And peace.